Hi, my name is Stuart Ziff, and we're here to talk about slide guitar. You know, I've always thought that the sound of slide guitar was a very seductive sound. It was really different and really expressive, and I wanted to learn it desperately. After hearing people like Muddy Waters and Dwayne Allman and Robert Johnson and people like that. So I've come up with a, a system of how to learn slide uh, right down from the actual mechanics and the techniques that you need, which are really simple, to getting yourself up to the point where you can start to learn solos and learn licks and put things together and learn, learn, learn your favorite stuff by your favorite artists. So that's what we're going to do here today. Uh, I usually start by telling people that if you have a second guitar at home that you can dedicate to playing slide, well, you may want to take that guitar, if it's been sitting in the closet and you don't really love that thing anymore, show it some love and take it out of the closet and raise the action up a little bit. In other words, bring the strings up from the fretboard and put a little heavier gauge string on there. And you're going to see that when you do this, it's a lot easier to get a tone and a good sound and be accurate playing slide. If you're playing, you know, if you've been playing a lot of rock and roll and you're playing on really light gauge strings, you're going to see that you've got a you, you've got a difficult road, somewhat difficult road ahead of you. So you may want to play with a heavier gauge string for playing slide. You know, uh, as heavy, you know, you may want to go up to a, nothing lighter than a 10, hopefully an 11. I play with a 12 for a high E string, which is a pretty big string. So the heavier gauge you can put on there, you're going to have an easier time getting a sound out of the guitar. Um, and if you listen to a lot of the great slide players, you're going to notice that a lot of them have a, a, a big, great tone to what they do. You know, it's a big, fat sound. So if you, if you practice it right, you use the right kind, of, right kind of strings, you've got a decent guitar to play on, then you're going to be off to the races and have a really good start to going on to playing slide. So if you've got that second guitar, you may want to dedicate that to playing slide. One thing I always hear from students is they always ask, well, what kind of slide should I use? Well, this is an open statement because it's really up to the individual player. A lot of people like the sound of steel. A lot of people prefer the sound of brass. A lot of people like the sound of glass, which I've been using for well over 30 years. They make ceramic slides. Uh, slide players have used a piece of conduit pipe before. So it's really up to the individual player what you want to use and what feels comfortable on your hand. Each slide has a different color and a texture and a sound to it. Steel is going to sound different from brass and glass is going to sound way different from all of those. I personally prefer the sound of glass because glass has a very bell-like tone. It's very clear and as we say, it doesn't lie. So you can't you really can't mess up when you're using glass because the slightest imperfection, you're going to hear it. Uh, so I prefer using glass, but whatever you want to use is really strictly up to you. It's up to the individual player. Now, another thing I hear from students is what finger do I wear the slide on? Well, there are people who wear it on this finger. There are people who play with it on this finger. There are people who play with it on this one. And there are people who play it on their pinky. Again, it's all up to the individual player and what feels comfortable to you. Now, you're going to see after you start playing that probably you're going to have a little bit of fatigue in your hand and your finger from holding this bar on your finger and concentrating it on keeping it on the guitar. Don't worry about that. You just have to take a little time to build up the muscle and the strength in your hand to be able to hold that bar and feel comfortable. And the more, pra it's like anything else, the more practice and the more time you spend with it, the faster it's gonna come. So it doesn't really matter. Whatever finger feels comfortable for you. I prefer to use the, the slide on my pinky because it allows me to get higher up the neck.
So it gives me easier access to the upper regions of the neck. But if that's not an issue to you, then you can certainly play the slide anywhere that you want. Okay, so all of that said, we've decided what kind of slide we want to use. We've got, we've got a guitar that's all ready to play. You know which finger you want to put the bar on. Now we're ready to try and learn how to use the slide. Okay. I'm playing in standard tuning right now. Okay, so I haven't altered the tuning. I'm not playing in an open tuning. I'm just playing in standard tuning right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the bar, we're going to bring the bar to the string. Now you want to be really careful as to not push the bar down into the string and thus pushing the string down to the fret. If you do that, it, you're going to get a real clunky kind of sound and we call that fretting out. So you just want to bring the bar right to the string and just let the bar rest on the string, just like that. Doesn't take much pressure or effort. You want to get as nice, clear a tone as you can get out of it. That would be E. This is not E. This is E. So what you've got here is this span between one fret and another fret, you've got a lot of difference in pitch. Okay? So you want to be very conscious of that at all times. Now, how do you get the correct pitch? Well, you bring the bar right to the fret. You don't want to play it in front of the fret or behind it. Right at the fret. If you're, if you're behind it, you're going to be flat. If you're in front of it, you're going to be sharp. And the world hates an out-of-tune slide player. That's all I can tell you. So you really want to concentrate on developing as good a pitch as you possibly can. Okay, very important. So that said, let's take a very simple exercise and try to work on developing our pitch here. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to put the bar at the fifth fret. And I'm going to play the fourth, the third, and the second string. If you're using your fingers, you want to grab all three of those notes at the same time, just like a piano. Okay? What we've got there is a triad. That's a C triad. It's a C chord. Okay? What we're going to do is we're going to take that chord and we're going to move it up a half step. Now, before you do it, I want you to think of it like this. I want you to think of it as a long arc when you play it. And I'll play it for you, and this is how I want you to try it. And then go down. Okay? So try it together with me. Okay? Now, let's try and go up a whole step. We're going to go from C to D. We're going to play a C triad and a D triad. We're going to go from the fifth to the seventh fret. Okay? Just like this. You hear how that chord stays true like that? And back down. Let's do it again. Now let's go up another whole step from D to E. Let's go up a half step from D, from E to F. Let's go up a whole step from F to G. To the 12th fret. Let's go up from the 12th fret to the 14th fret. We're going to play G to A. Then we're going to go from A to C. We're going to go a step and a half. Just like that. Now, if you do that going down the same way, go down a whole step, go down a half step, whatever you want. Pay real close attention to the pitch of the guitar. And if you've got any kind of a small digital recording device, 
anything you can record yourself with, this is going to be a huge plus to you because you'll hear when you're in tune as opposed to when you're out of tune. So it's very, it, 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 it's really good if you can record yourself practicing at this early stage of learning how to play slide, okay? So if you take this little exercise, And just play it up the neck and play it down. If you want to start down here on the third fret, that's okay too. The important thing is that you're listening at all times to the sound of that chord. And your ears are telling you when you're in tune as opposed to being out of tune. Okay? Now, one other aspect of the technique that I failed to mention is what do I do with my fingers behind the bar? Okay? Some people like to lay their fingers, let them rest ver very simply behind the bar on the strings. That's called string damping, okay? And what you're doing is you're shutting down all this harmonic noise that's going on behind the bar. Now, I was doing some string damping there to keep the sound nice and clear while I was doing this. But I personally love the sound of all that noise. You hear the difference? That's what you've got back there. So it helps the strings resonate and it gives a lot of character and, 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 and a little more guts to the sound of the slide. But if you want to play with your fingers back there to use, the, use your fingers to guide the slide, that's perfectly fine. It's all up to the individual player. So all of that said, you've got a lot to practice. You know, it's, to me, learning how to play slide, a big, a big part of the battle is developing your technique. And when you get your technique together and you're playing in tune, well then, it's really up to you what you want to learn and, 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 and how quickly you learn and the degree of difficulty of the things that you want to learn. So practice your technique, get your intonation and your pitch together, and do it slowly. Don't do it quick. You know, don't be quick to rush through it. The slower you practice, the better it's going to come off, and it's better to practice it slow and get it right than to, pra than to try and fly through it and mess it up and not learn anything. So with all that said, I would say practice up and good luck.